Hey guys, LBF back here, back again with another Vans review. And today I have a pair of Taka Hayashis off the vault line. This is the Skate Mid LX, part of the Chimayo pack. Colorway is golden brown. These are size 12 and these retail for 175. Pretty much have the same style box as the last seasons, except this is in a dark olive color. Same accents throughout on the top. You even have the same trim and everything. This is a slightly older release. Got the white face on the box here and it features a pretty standard Taka dust bag here with a nice brown lace on it. I believe these released early 2014, maybe sometime around March or so, March, April, somewhere like that. They released alongside another colorway in the same model, which was the Formula Red colorway. Basically the same exact shoe, except instead of this golden brown color, you have the red and then the Chimayo pattern on the side was a little bit different, featured like red and brown. And I believe blue, maybe, I don't know, a couple different colors though. Both of these shoes in this pack are definitely awesome. They also released alongside the Derby 2, which had the palm leaves all over them. I'm still looking to get a pair of the brown ones once the price drops. I was on the fence for these for a really long time, ever since they released. Um, I wasn't really feeling this toe box here, this little extra piece on the toe bumper. Taka kind of adding a little bit more to the shoe. But once I actually had these on feet in person, I absolutely love it. I think it goes so well with the shoe, the design and everything. And it really does give it that old school vibe because you do have the foxing coming up a little bit anyways, which seems to be the Taka style with all of his models. He likes to use the OG silhouettes for these vulcanized midsoles. The materials on this shoe are definitely on point. The suede, the Chimayo pattern, the lining, the laces and everything. I, I, I love the materials on here. This shoe is basically the inspiration for those slip-ons or these slip-ons that I did a review on a couple videos ago. As you can see, it's the same pattern, pretty much. Same colorway. This is actually the first time that I've ever had a skate mid. Pretty much the same fit as a skate high, as I would have expected. Definitely a very comfortable shoe though. A lot of ankle movement, a lot of freedom up here. And let's get into the materials here. So you have this really nice suede on the toe box going up the eyelets as well as the tongue. Also the same suede on the heel. Features that Chimayo style of weaving, which is native to New Mexico. It's uh, really textured. It's got like these ridge ridges to them. Very nice. I believe the patterns are different. Oh no, they're exactly the same, Never mind. So you have the same pattern on the inside and the outside of both shoes. The jazz stripe is done up in a very soft leather. It's probably a little bit tougher than a, a pigskin leather, but it's still pretty soft, very nice. You got these nice leather square laces here, and the extra laces are these off-white flat laces. Probably stick with the leather ones though. This seems to be Taka's new logo here with these tongue tags. It's got like the triangle square pattern with the feather logo in the middle there. Vans Taka Hayashi in the inside. The interior of the shoe is made up in this pigskin leather which is incredible. Just the entire back portion of the shoe featuring that leather as well as under the tongue here. And it goes all the way down to the toe box and everything. Always see that attention to detail with a Taka shoe. On the interior here we have that Widow's Peak style insole. Where it's got the point here and it's like a canvas moving on to that leather. This one is a little bit different than the newer ones as it is not sewn in. So hopefully this won't peel up on me. 
Midsole is in a very subtle off-white color. And then you have that black piping. Got your red Takahashi Vans tab on the heel. And then we have that same outsole that we saw with the slip-ons, which is also that Widow's Peak style with the blue on the toe. By the way, the texture on this toe bumper here, this little top piece is the same as you see on the toe bumper. If anyone was curious. These do fit true to size. And as I mentioned, these retail for 175. Very happy about this pickup. Um, I actually picked these up for about 50% off. I wasn't really trying to spend over a bill on these. So very happy to get them for a good deal. And I hope to get the red ones at some point as well. Definitely one of my top picks for 2014. Be sure to stay tuned for that video. Uh, I will have a best of 2014 video up sometime soon, hopefully, maybe in the next week or two. Well, I hope you guys like this review and be sure to stay tuned for the on feed.